what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Here we go again. Boy, 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 these motherfuckers, boy, they don't take no days off. A black man was trapped inside of a gated community for more than an hour by a white man claiming to be the president of the Homeowners Association. Furniture and appliance deliverer, Travis Miller, was trying to leave the gated community of Ashford Hills in Oklahoma City, Northeast Oklahoma City. He's in this big old ass delivery truck. He's trying to get out. And the white dude parks his car in front of him to block him in. Hops sight and demands to know what he's doing. What are you doing? What are you here for? And who gave you the code to the gate? Now, Travis was like, I don't have to tell you anything. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Dudes try to tell him his name is David Stewart. I'm the president of the HOA, David Stewart. Here at your service, sir. Mr. President, HOA. Yeah! And I'm here to stop all big trucks, foreign and domestic, from coming into these gates without the proper permission. So anyway, he gets a little backup. Another white guy pulls up and assists him. Hops out, hey man, hey guy, we just want to know who you are what you doing here? And who gave you the gate code? So Travis like, hey man, I ain't gotta tell y'all nothing. So he sit there and sit there and sit there. Finally, the customer comes out and talks to the antagonist. And then he hops in his car and he pulls out. Travis calls the police himself because he wants to make sure that he's clear he don't want to just take off and start driving and then they pull over pull him over with guns drawn you know how to get down so they come out and have a conversation no arrests are made they take off travis is live streaming the whole incident now, Travis had held up for a while, but then he started crying. Family, he say that he was overwhelmed a little by the fact that he had two debts in the family back to back. You ever heard the expression, there's a time and place for everything? When a white dude blocks you in, blocks your truck in, and traps you inside of his neighborhood, and you're at a standstill, stall me, impasse, that ain't the time to be crying. I'm sick and tired of these black men with all this damn crime. Now I know some of y'all gonna see this and hey, really do you have a heart, man? Man, it's emotional. Man lost two family members. You're not going to defeat white supremacy with all this damn crime. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all wanna do all this damn praying and forgiving and 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 he even said, I think I could have handled it better. How in the hell can you handle it better when you get ambushed? 
The dude just uprooted your whole day. How do you prepare for that? What do you mean you could have, how in the hell could you have handled it any better? The only thing I think that you could have done better is not done all that damn crime. Y'all want to win? You're going to have to have some soldiers. This soft ass shit is not going to defeat white supremacy. These fools are bullies. They see tears. Those tears are like blood to them. You know how when there's blood in the ocean and the sharks come? That's white supremacy. That, that's racist. They love your pain. They love to see your pain. They love it when you cry. They love to see you at funerals of the loved ones who they took away from you. They love it. They love seeing you laying on the ground, hold up, leaking. They love that. You have to meet force with force. They ain't gonna respect nothing else. They better be glad like hell, I wasn't driving that truck. Boom. They better be glad. They better be glad I wasn't driving it. I don't even know what's taking so long with all of these incidents. I don't understand it. It is very difficult for me to grasp it. I'm not apologizing for getting on his ass for all that crime. I don't care. I do empathize with loss of life, people going through things, I get it. And he could have cried about that, but not in the midst of being challenged by white supremacy. You gotta deal with that, get to the house, and if you gotta break down, you break down. But live streaming and all that. Man, miss me with that. There will be no crying. There will be no tears coming from me under any circumstances when it's dealing with them. You got to meet them head on. They're not going to respect nothing else. And I'm telling you, I've seen it done. And they always cower. They always back down because they're bullies. They are bullies. They are textbook bullies. Hear me when I say they only attack when they have a clear cut advantage. I.e., for example, numbers, size, and weaponry. That's it. Think about all of the times you've had these type of situations. And that's what you have. Numbers, size, weaponry. You can go all the way back to the 1600s. Stop all that damn crime. It's not manly. Suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.